In this video, we will see how we can install Frida tools and how we can use it to bypass SSL pinning in our Android applications. For that, I'll start with PIP install Frida tools to fulfill all the dependencies and install the tools here. After installing tool, I'm using my Android Studio emulator here, which is running on Android version 10, and I'm using my terminal on my left hand side. Now, after installing Frida tools, we have to install the Frida server on our Android device as well. For that, first we have to figure out the Android architecture. To figure out the Android architecture, I'm going to look into Android properties here. For that, go with adb shell and get properties command. It will list all the Android properties here. But we are only focused on cpu.abi property here, which is arm64 v8a. Now we can download our Frida server from Google for the same Android architecture. Search for Frida server. It will take you to a GitHub release page where you can find different binaries for your Frida. Here we will directly go over Frida server Android ARM64. Now it will give you a compressed archive here which you have to extract. To extract the archive, go with xz-t and the file name here. It will give you the executable file now. After extracting the file, we have to push this Frida server into our Android device. For that, I am going to use adb push and the FIDA server name. After that, we have to specify the location as data, local and TMP. After pushing the file, I'm going to ADB shell where we will navigate to data local TMP folder and we can see we have the file here. To execute this FIDA server, first we have to change the permissions. For that, I'm gonna use chmod command here. And after changing the permission, if I execute the server, we can see I'm getting an error here. It means we don't have the right permissions to execute the Frida server here. To verify the error, I'm opening another ADB session here. And if I enter SU, we can see we don't have permissions. It means the device is not rooted here. To root the device, I'm going to Google again and download the magis.apk file. And after downloading, go with ADB install and the file name here as magisk v27.apk file. After installing this file, if I again go with the ADB session and go with SU this time, we can see we are the root user here. Now after getting the root user access, we can again go to the same directory data local TMP and we can execute our FIDA server. But before starting this FIDA server, let me terminate my previous ADB session here and let's see we have this FIDA running here or not. To check this background processes, I'm going to use PS-A and grab for Frida here. Now we can see we don't have any Frida process running here. To execute the Frida server, I'm gonna use dot command again with the ampersand so we can run this process in the background. After that, we can verify this background process with the same ps-a command and we can grab for Frida. This is the process ID 6033 for our Frida server. Now, after starting our Frida server, let's go back to the browser and download our burp certificate here. For that, you can go with the localhost colon 88 which is the default IP address and the port for your bird suite and you can download your csert file. I'm gonna rename this csert file from .der to .crt so we can install it in our Android device. Now I'll simply push this cert file into SD card and downloads and install it from the settings, security, encryption and credentials where we can verify our existing trusted credentials so I'm going to install my new one from the SD card, go to downloads and here we will install our certificate. I'm going to name it as burp, ok and done. Always keep it in mind. This certificate is installed as a user certificate, not as trusted credentials. After that, let's install our target application which is SmartQ here. After installing this, let's open it and let's see application is working or not. Now the application is working, so I'll configure my burp proxy in my Android device. Go to settings, proxy and change no proxy to manual setting. Enter your burp's IP address and the port number and go to apply. Now we can see no traffic in the burp now. Let's remove the application from the background and start it again. Here we can see we are getting connection timeout error. If we retry, we got the same error and we don't have any traffic in our burp suite as well. To bypass this, First, we have to figure out the application package name. For that, I'm going to use adb shell pm list packages and I'm going to grab smart here. We can see the package name is com.smartq.smartq. 
now let's use our frida minus u is used for the usb connections here minus f is used for the target application and minus l is used for the script that we want to execute to bypass the pinning but we don't have any script yet to download the script go to the google again and search for frida ssl pinning bypass scripts go to the first link codeshare.frida.re you can use the above command here or you can copy and paste the script into a system file as well which i have already shared as ssl pinning minus bypass.js i'm going to use the same js file here so go with minus l and the bypass script name here we can see we don't have any timeout error again now if i search anything we can see we are getting options now if i enter random email address as hello at the rate samsung.org and accept this check get the verification code we don't have any account for this email but in our burp suite we can see we get our https login request